Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Cone Health and today's Annie Penn Hospital. So advanced is so close to home. ConeHealth.com. After returning to classrooms for only a week, some Rockingham County students are being forced to continue with online instruction at home due to COVID-19 exposure. Beginning today, Reedsville Middle School, Holmes Middle School, and Western Rockingham Middle School are closed for the next two weeks through October 11th. Only one classroom is closed at Rockingham County Middle School, and those students will have remote learning. The Rockingham County Public Library is reopening today with regular hours and COVID guidelines in place. Only 20 people in addition to staff will be allowed in the buildings at the same time. Masks must be worn at all times and patrons must maintain a distance of six feet. Before entering, a staff member will ask health-related questions. There's a one-hour time limit to be in the library. Hear the hours... Eden, Madison, Mid Ann, and Reedsville, Monday and Thursday, 9 till 8, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 till 6, Saturday, 9 till 4, Stoneville, Monday and Wednesday, 12 to 5, Tuesday, 1 to 6, Thursday, 1 to 8, and Friday, 10 to 6. Rockingham County Radio has added FM frequencies to their AM stations, 1490 WLOE in Eden, can also be heard on 92.5 and 1420 WMYN in Mayadan is available at 97.5. The FCC approved the license several years ago, but a lot of planning, engineering, and technical work was needed to get the stations on the air, and the company changed ownership earlier this year. Truth Radio is broadcasting Christian talk shows and a mix of Southern gospel, praise, and worship music. Local news and information programming will be added soon. Eden Police are investigating the theft of catalytic converters from vehicles at four churches, vans at Monument of Faith, 319 Henry Street, and Mount Sinai Baptist Church, 512 Henry Street. Three vehicles at United in Christ Ministries, 211 North Oakland Avenue, and a van at New Life Church, 432 Bridge Street. When can you call Lane's Family Pharmacy to refill prescriptions? Anytime, day or night. We don't sleep a lot at our house. So this morning at 3 o'clock, when I was wide awake and thinking about my to-do list this week, I called Lane's and left my refill information. A couple of prescriptions. It took about a minute and a half. You're prompted to put in prescription numbers, confirm that, pick up or delivery, and give your phone number. It's really easy and convenient. Call during regular business hours if you need to talk to someone personally. Lane's delivers countywide. Just call 336 627-4600 for refills 24 hours a day. That's 336-627-4600. Lane's Family Pharmacy, NC14 Eden. Don't forget that countywide delivery. Now, Rockingham County weather today, a 50% chance of rain, high 78, low 64, Tuesday, 100% chance of rain, thunderstorms mixed in, high 75, sunny to mostly sunny for the rest of the week, highs Wednesday, 68, Thursday, 72, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 65. Get current weather information anytime at MikeMoore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream weather camera that's sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers. For year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Need a tow? Dave's Towing is a call away, 24 hours a day. I'd keep this number handy if I were you. I have it in my phone, 336-932-7478 for Dave's Towing. Now the community calendar, sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden. Granite, quartz, marble, grand opening and ribbon cutting Thursday at 11, 
tours of the new fabrication center between 10 and 3 on Thursday. You're invited to stop by. The Salvation Army of Rockingham County Angel Tree Registration for Eden and Madison Maidan families beginning today through October 20th, Monday through Friday, 9 to 2 by appointment only at 314 Morgan Road in Eden. Annual Barry Joyce Kickin' Cancer Challenge at Deep Springs Country Club Stoneville today, registration 930, shotgun start 11, dinner at 5, tournament prizes 530. Foothills Farm Festival at Snow Hill Church Road, Danbury, Saturday, 8 to 7. Old-fashioned farming, harvesting, and folk life demonstrations, hay rides, tractor parade, food and bluegrass music. General admission, $5. Friends of Eden Animal Rescue will be having a charity golf tournament at Oak Hills Golf and Event Center, Saturday at 1, $55 per person, $200 foursome. Rockingham County Toys for Tots kickoff at Reedsville Alliance Church, Freeway Drive, Saturday, October 24th at 10. Drive by and drop off a donation. Rockingham County Candidates Online Forum, Tuesday, November 3rd, 8 till 7, presented by Reedsville, Eden, and Western Rockingham Chambers of Commerce. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Ferguson Stump Grinding, Ben and Cody Ferguson, a great father-son team, were here on Saturday. They did a great job for us. I posted pictures on our Facebook page. I'm glad to recommend Ferguson Stump Grinding. Professional work, competitive prices. Visit their Facebook page for more information. Now today's Consumer Report. A study from Quote Wizard, an online insurance marketplace, shows hospitals may lose a total of $323 billion this year because of the coronavirus. The study authors also predict institutions will attempt to recoup that money in the form of higher cost for patients. Airlines have stressed that it's safe to fly because of antivirus mitigation measures and hospital strength ventilation systems aboard aircraft. But government health officials say that before awareness of the coronavirus threat, as many as 10,000 passengers may have been exposed to COVID-19. Recent storms along the Gulf Coast have failed to have much impact on gasoline prices. AAA reports the national average price of gasoline has been fairly steady in the $2.20 a gallon range over the last month. A big reason is that consumers are driving less. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Let's take a look at Today in History, September 28th, 1066. We're going way back for this one. England was invaded by William the Conqueror, who claimed the English throne. 1789, the first federal Congress passed a resolution asking President Washington to recommend to the nation a day of Thanksgiving. He did that several days later. In TV land, 1961, Dr. Kildare and Hazel premiered on NBC. You may remember those. Tri-City Trivia, 1902, Leakesville Spray and Draper. The R.P. Ray House became the first residence to be wired for electricity. No one locally could do it. Electricians were brought in from Canada. Big name birthdays, Hilary Duff, 34, Naomi Watts, 53, Bridget Bardot, 87, Jeffrey Jones, 75, Steve Blackman, 58. Finally, over the weekend, live bluegrass and gospel music. Oh, it was a beautiful day being with friends in Stewart for the annual Sandy Ridge Elementary School fundraiser with Alan Bybee in Grasstown and the Churchmen. Here's a song they did on Saturday. This life here on earth we are given to live In service to the King of Kings The crown of life I know He will give Oh, how the heavens will ring Heaven, happy home of the sun Land of the 
Keith Clark, Greg Jones, Carol Arn, and Jay Adams. That's the Churchmen. Oh, they did a great job Saturday along with Alan Bybee in Grasstown. Let me, uh, that's our uh, Monday motivational music, by the way, of course. Let me give you more information here. You can check out thechurchman.com on their website and their label, morning-glory-music.com. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Rockingham County Today and conehealth.com. We're with you. All about floors, good smiles, Carolina fuels, Vernon Family Dairy, Fair Funeral Home, Rise Up Reedsville, Shop Rockingham County. Thanks to these sponsors and thanks to you for tuning in to the program. Make it a great Monday, friends. Let's finish with our motivational moment. The struggle you're in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. Remember to count your blessings.